as our administrator. And we'll go to Manage GTE Forms, our online GTE Forms management tool. And we'll go to our workflow section. Here in our GT Parts Gallery, we can build all sorts of pieces and parts that we can assemble into workflow processes. Here we're going to add an approval route. We'll give it an appropriate name. And all we need to do here is specify the roles that we want to use in this routing. We're going to start with an initiator. And we'll add a role. So the initiator will be our department user, and from there we just need HR review. So we'll add the HR office. That's really all we need to do here, so we'll save that. And now we can go and make use of that route in our quick entry form type. Again, this is a simple process and also involves no code and no app designer objects. All we need to do is turn on approval routing and then specify that we want to use the approval route that we just created. There it is. Just to make sure, we'll go ahead and reload that. And there are two steps. When we save that, we're all set up to test our new approval routing that we've added to our quick entry form. So let's log in as our initiator. Again, we'll navigate to our quick entry home page that we created. And this time, when we submit this transaction, rather than have it go right into the system, rather than authorized, we want to see that it's been submitted and that it's been sent to another approver for further processing. Specifically, we want it to go to the HR office. So we'll make a slight change, put in an appropriate reason, Just for future reference, notice the long list of actions and action reasons that we have here. And the training that it would take for someone to know that. There's something more we could do there. Here we'll just go ahead and acknowledge our form messages and submit the form. So now we've gone to the HR office. At this point, the process visualizer shows us our new path. We can see that Todd Pronoun has submitted it. He's our GT initiator. And now the highlight is at the GTHR office. That's where it is now. We've submitted the form and it's been passed to the HR office for further processing. If we go in and view this form, we can get even more information about where it currently is. When we scroll down, go to go next and go to the form history page, we can see that now it's been submitted and it's in pending state. So who can work this form now? It's the HR office, but who's in the HR office? 
the who can work this form link tells us and even gives us email addresses. We're going to go ahead and log in now as Marianne Adverb. But before we log in, let's go ahead and take a look at her email box. So this is Marianne's email box. And without any additional work, just by turning on this approval route, we've enabled the default configuration for email notifications and Mary Ann has received a work list item email. Now we can configure that differently and in this case we may want to because the HR office probably doesn't want to receive a notification for everything that comes into their office. Typically we turn the emails off for the core offices. But this illustrates how very little setup is needed in order to get emails working. So she's received an email, a work list item, and the subject line lets her know that we are doing some quick entry work to change job data for Kent Case. And here you can see we have a, uh, an HTML form with branding that can be made specifically to match your individual uh, institution branding. And we have links that take us straight to that form. A lot, a lot of times our approvers may not be PeopleSoft users and rather than teach them how to navigate in PeopleSoft we can just give them links that take them straight to the view page or the evaluate page from their email. So here we've, uh, we're just showing them the same page but with different buttons now and these buttons are going to now let them take a look at it and then we can give them several buttons that they can use to actually approve, reject, or recycle this form. Approval means that it's going to be passed on into the system or to the next approver if there are any more approvers. Reject is like a big red stamp that says nope this is an appropriate transaction and that will kill the form. Recycle would send it back to the originator typically with an additional comment asking them to uh, make a change or for more, asking for more information. So when we approve this form as the uh, final approver once again the form is now authorized and passed to the system for further processing. So now we've had it submitted, we've done the review, we can even see that it only took us two minutes from when it was submitted to when the review was complete. And now it's off to the integration broker again which is responsible to get it into the system. Viewing the form allows us to see the completed form history at this point it's still being worked on by the integration broker. If we give it a few seconds it'll actually enter into the system. At this point we can see that the HR office authorized it and the integration broker when it's done working on it will have it into the system so now it's executed. And we have three transactions, three logs showing the, uh, the completed status of this request. And you can see that there's an FYI email that's gone back to the originator showing them first that Marianne authorized it and second that the request has now been executed into the system. So again no work was required to get those emails turned on, they just start to happen and notify the originator of everything that's going on with the form that has now had a workflow process added to it. Automatic emails, online approver setup, work list items that appeared automatically, and the transaction log which constitutes electronic signatures, all added in just a few minutes to ramp up this quick entry form into a completely approver process enabled electronic form.